Good morning. It's the 6th of March. It's another beautiful morning, and I hope you can go outside and enjoy, enjoy the nice weather. Today we're going to review a little bit what I've said all week about the temptation to material goods. We all want to have... Um, material success. And the tempter tempts Jesus to just take the bread, uh, take the rocks on the ground, the stones, and just make them become bread. You can do that. Now, Jesus won't do that because that would be to sort of misuse his, his, his power. We don't have that power, but he did. Um, and, and he's not going to misuse that for his own benefit. For us, the temptation is a little different. Uh, we can't turn stones into bread, but we can convert the material goods around us into possessions. We can, you know, make money, make money grow, accumulate things, buy things, and and um, and overeat. So there's a lot that we we can do that the temptation directly addresses. Part of our trouble is that we can't simply say, no, you don't need bread. Don't eat bread. Stop eating bread. Because we need to eat. And so this temptation hits us. You know, we, we On the one hand, we have to eat. On the other hand, we don't want to just pile it up around us. Um, we have to find the balance, and that's kind of difficult. Jesus says to the tempter, one shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so what we're trying to do is find a way to live where we can eat, where we can have enough to eat, but at the same time where we can be faithful and obedient to the call of God in our lives. And so what is God calling us to do? That's a question that we have to each answer uh, through prayer and struggle on our own, or, or for ourselves, rather. Um, what is it that God is calling us to do? Well, it's to live lives, as we said, of justice and righteousness. And if we did that, and we all did that, then the world would be a much, a much better place, I believe. So we want to find this balance and we want to um, we want to become the people that God is calling us to be. It will never get there. It'll never be perfectly enacted in this in this world. But we can strive for that and uh, seek that through um, our prayers every day. And that's the way it's going to be. We won't ever attain this state. And then, okay, fine, we can relax. Temptations will always come back, and we'll need to constantly work on uh, living by the word that comes, the call of God, from the call of God. And so, if we're going to do that each day, that involves um, this kind of struggling and this kind of sort of pushing ourselves, looking for um, the way that God is calling us to be rather than simply piling up a lot of possessions around us and becoming swept up in maintenance and taking care of and accumulating more of those possessions, more of that bread. Next week, we're going to talk about the second temptation in that passage where Jesus is tempted to security. Uh, the devil says, throw yourself off the temple. It's all right. God will catch you. Mm. Jesus says, no. Let's not do that. Let's not put God to the test. I'll preach on that tomorrow, and then next week we'll talk about that one. For now, pray hard and enjoy the day. Bye-bye.